So here we have a pretty standard work problem, raising a bucket, and it turns out it's a leaky five pound bucket that's lifted 20 feet into the air at a constant speed. The rope weighs 0 0.3 pounds per foot, that's its density. The bucket starts with 10, let's just say pounds. <laughs> The bucket starts with 10 pounds of water and leaks at a constant rate. There are 5 pounds of water left when it reaches the top. How much work was done to raise the bucket? So let's draw a picture of what's going on and we'll label our picture. So here is our bucket. And we're going to break this into two pieces. We're going to look at the rope and the bucket separately. Not that we couldn't do them together but just because I want to emphasize slicing and how we can look at it here. So for the rope, first thing we'd like to do is find the mass of the ith slice, or in this case the force, because we're in pounds per feet. First, if, um, if we were looking at newtons per meter, we might go ahead and do the mass first and then convert it over to a force. But first thing we're going to do is look at the force on the ith slice. So let's take a slice that has an arbitrary thickness of delta, let's call it x. Now in my drawing, I'm probably going to want to label something x sub i, and that could either be the distance from my slice to the top or the distance from my slice to the bucket, and it doesn't matter. Um, it's all going to work out fine in our integral. So if I make this x sub i, then this distance here, the total distance is 20, so this is 20 minus x sub i here. If I label this x sub i, this would be 20 minus x sub i. So the force on the ith slice, well, it's got a length of delta x, and we were told that the rope weighs 0 0.3 pounds per foot. We multiply that by the number of feet. We get the, the how many pounds of rope we're looking at, which is the total force. So this would be measured in pounds. So now we're going to find the work on the ith slice, which is the force on the ith slice, which we already calculated at 0.3 delta x, times the distance the ith slice is going to be moved when everything is said and done. It's going to go up x sub i feet. So there's the work on the ith slice. Now we may not necessarily like it being in this order, so we may say 0.3 x sub i delta x. Now that we have the work on the ith slice, we can find the work on the ith slice. It's going to be the integral of 0.3 x dx. The last thing we need are our limits. Well, x sub i, when it's all the way at the top, is going to be 0, and when it's all the way at the bottom, it's going to be 20. And so there's our integral that will calculate the work. So calculating this, we get 0 0.3 over 2 x squared from 0 to 20, which equals 0 0.3 over 2 times 20 squared. 20 squared is 400 divided by 2 is 200 times 0.3 is 60 and we are going to be in foot pounds. So that's the amount of work to just raise the rope if there was no bucket attached. Let's talk about the bucket. The bucket, if the bucket was not leaky, it would be a, a constant force and we just multiply it by the distance it's getting moved, the 20 feet. Because the bucket's leaking, we have basically a change in its force. Now it was a five pound bucket and initially it had 10, not points, but pounds of water. So we could say when the bucket has not been raised at all, it has 20, or not 20, excuse me. When the bucket's not raised at all, it has 15 uh, pounds. And I guess actually with our drawing, let's, let's start this over. With our drawing, when, when our x was at 20, the bucket was going to be at 15 pounds. So we have 20. So when, when we're at 20 feet, the bucket weighed 15 pounds. 
Now we also know that when we're at zero feet, when this bucket's all the way at the top, the bucket's going to have lost five pounds of water, so it's going to be down to ten. So what we're going to do is create a linear relationship with these two points. So we're going to look at change in y, so 15 minus 10 over change in x. So we have 20 minus 0. And we've got 5 over 20 or 1 fourth. And we already have the intercept here, which is 10. So the force on the ith slice is 1 fourth x sub i plus 10. So for any given slice, for any given x value, this would give us the total force on the bucket. And if we check, when x is 20, we get a total of 15. Now, we need to turn this into a work problem. Well, think about moving the slice of bucket. So here's our slice. Think about moving that a distance of delta x. So the work on the ith slice is 1 fourth x sub i plus 10 times delta x. Now that we've got our, now we've basically got our integral set up because the work is going to be 1 fourth x plus 10 dx. And as we can see, our, in, our limits, excuse me, are going to be exactly the same. So we could have done this all in one integral. I just split it up because I wanted to look at each part separately. But this can easily be done all in one integral. You can set up your force for both the rope and the bucket at the same time and set up your work no problem. So calculating this, we get 1 8 x squared plus 10 x from 0 to 20. So we get 1 8 times 20 squared plus 10 times 20 minus 0 again. And we are going to get, so 20 squared is 400 divided by 8 is 50 plus 200. And we get 250 foot pounds. And that's for just the bucket. So the total, we have to add these together, the 60 plus the 250. So the total is 310 foot-pounds.